Hello viewers, my name is Donald DeLeo and I'd like to thank you. Today using this Web 2.0 tool, we'll be creating a interactive word find. Seeing that I already have logged in up at the top, I'm going to click on create activity to start. That is going to bring us to our next page where you are going to click on the type of activity you'd like to use. There are various activities, but today we are going to use an interactive word find or a soup word find. Click right there. Next, we're going to change the language. There are various languages you can choose from, but we're going to use English. Next, you're going to set the title, and we're going to set our title as primary and secondary colors. All right, good. Next, we're going to click in the description box and type in our description. With your description, you want to tell your viewers or your students what to do. So I'm going to tell my students to locate and find the primary, sorry about the spelling, and secondary colors. Good. Next after that, I must set the knowledge area to art. You can set it to math, English, whatever your word find will be pertaining to. Next, you must use the sliding section here to set your age destination. Mine is going to be eight year olds. Yours can be anything from zero to 20 year olds, 20 plus, all right? Now after setting all this information, we're going to click on the big green next button up in the right hand side, which will bring us to the next page. When you come to this page, the first thing you see is a not complete activity bar, which is not proper English. I know, Mrs. Went, I apologize. What it should say is this activity is not complete. This activity is not complete because I have not entered at least three words yet or one tag. So n knowing that from now on, you know, for every activity, you must put in at least three words and at least one tag activity. And in this section, you can change the privacy and run mode if you have a premium account, which we do not. We have the free account. So you can change the help and the general information section. And if you do so, you would click on the edit button on the right side, which will bring up visible or hidden, you know, if you want to make it available to everyone. But I'm fine with the way it is right now, so I'm going to click the green X. For general information, you do the same, click edit. And what will come up at the top is a section saying edit general information, which could I could hide the, hit, uh, the different tips or hints, which way I want the words to go. We could go this way, this way, that way, any way you'd like or you can set a time limit. I have not set a time limit because I want everyone to have enough time to finish. So I'm gonna click the green X again. After that, we're gonna go ahead and type in our words. We're gonna click add and go to the top. A big box saying add words will pop up. And now you see here there's only five sections for words. We all know that there are six primary and secondary colors. So we'll probably have to do this again. So add in red, orange, yellow, blue, and green. Now we know that leaves purple out, so we'll have to do this again. Alright, so we see on the bottom there are the words. We're going to add one more time. Go up top again, add in purple. Alright, good. Send that in. Now that we have set all this information, get down to the bottom, we see all our words there. We're going to go up to the top. We're going to click View Activity. We're going to wait for the ad to skip. There we go. We're going to skip this ad in one, two. Good. It's going to come up and you're going to push start. You're going to push start. And it's going to bring you to your word find. Thank you for your patience and thank you for viewing my tutorial on Educa Play on how to create an interactive word find. If you have any questions, please email me at deliod at go.slockton.edu. Thank you and have a good day.